Hey good morning everyone my name is Vipin Kumar and in this episode we are going to connect external SQL database to docker web container and external database can be hosted on dedicated SQL server or any cloud RDS there are many situation where you need to connect a external database because database in a container doesn't support all the features that is required by the application or you need persistent data across your cluster environment in this demonstration my sql database is hosted on dedicated sql server on vm and web application is hosted on docker container my Docker web container is connecting SQL database on the VM. So let's begin. My application database is hosted on this SQL machine and this is the application database and this is the second machine on which I am running the Docker container for the web application. If you need any help about application code or how to set up the application on windows container you can watch my previous two video on my youtube channel these two videos you can refer to host your application on windows container this is my web application content and i configure the database information in web.config file this is my external ms sql database ip address and port number this is the database information and this is the username and password for my database you can also use fully qualified domain name of your sql database if this domain name is getting resolved from the docker container itself if you are hosting your database on any cloud rds like Azure or AWS you can use similar connection string to connect your RDS let's close it this is my docker compose file and I am going to use this file to launch my web container so I am ready to launch my web container let's do it Okay, my docker container is ready to use. This is the container and you can access the application on port 80 on the browser. So let's try to access the application on the browser by using the host IP address. Yes, my application is successfully able to connect MS SQL database on a dedicated VM. Let's do some database transaction on the application. For example, I want to book a single room on 2nd September. single room has been confirmed and now suppose that the web container has been crashed so let me kill the container manually for the demonstration no container is running right now and my application is down now suppose that you are using the docker swarm or kubernetes docker swarm or kubernetes start your web container on any node available in the cluster for example this is the one of the node in your cluster yes new container has been launch and 
my application should be available on the browser. Also, room reservation should be available for the 2nd September because we are storing our data into the persistent volume. Let's select the single room and go to September. And you can see here, room has been reserved for 2nd September and we reserved this room before the container killed or died. So this is the complete demonstration how you can connect your external database to your docker web container to store your data into persistent volume in the cluster environment. In this video that's all. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Bye.